Hey guys, what's up? It's Carl. Today we're checking out the Oppo Reno 6 Pro, which you see off to the side. And I know that I've reviewed Oppo phones in the past and they've been making their upgrades, but Oppo is really becoming more of a mainstream smartphone company. And obviously they're just upping their marketing budget, spending a ton of money on sports events, just getting their name out there. And some of my friends actually here in Canada have actually asked about them. So clearly it seems to be working. And this one in general actually has a ton of video features, which we'll check out, which kind of makes it compete against a dedicated camera, whether that's a mirrorless or a DSLR. But let's quickly get into the box and kind of see what we've got inside first. So we've got the two different models, the two different colorways, of course. Pretty standard Oppo unboxing. And the first colorway that we've got is the Stellar Black. We've also got a 65 watt supercharger and you can get a full juice up from zero in around 31 minutes. That's kind of dope, as well as a standard pair of wired headphones. Always kind of cool to see companies still including that in the box. And you can kind of see the main features list. So the Boca Flare video, which we'll get to in a second, 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage. It is rocking the new MediaTek 1200 processor. And of course that supercharger, which I mentioned. And the second colorway, which you can grab it in is in the Aurora Glow. And on the back of Oppo phones, they're actually finished in a unique finish. It's called the Oppo Reno Glow. And it's kind of done in a long multi-step finishing process to give it a very unique finish. And I haven't really seen any other smartphone manufacturer come close to this. And to kind of sum it up, it's almost a matte finish. It feels matte to the touch, so it hides fingerprints actually pretty easily, but it still has this really nice sheen to it. And Oppo claims if you actually look at this under a microscope, you can see the interesting pyramid structure. And I actually thought this was a great idea to take their X3 Pro, which has a built-in microscopic lens to look underneath and you can see that crystalline structure. So it is oleophobic, so it helps kind of wick away water and you don't get any of those oily, greasy fingerprint stains that I know most phones tend to get. So you could theoretically rock this without a case. I always try to rock my phones naked if I can. And depending on which colorway you get, it kind of reflects light differently. So the Stellar Black, this is almost like a midnight blue, almost black finish. And the Aurora Glow, this is the one that reflects light a bit differently. So you can see on camera here, as I kind of tilt this around, it changes color. So this one maybe is a bit more unique, but as I have a couple devices here. I'm always hooking you guys up with a giveaway. So you can win one of these devices, the Reno 6 Pro. And I know that Oppo is hosting their own giveaway. So just be sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you leave that comment down below what you would use one of these devices for and Oppo will hook you guys up with one of these. And for all my Indian followers, you guys are actually getting a different device. This is just the standard Reno 6. So you can kind of see a quick little design comparison. The Reno 6 just has flatter edges. I'm actually a bit more of a fan of that. And on the actual display, you guys also get a flat display as opposed to the slightly curved one on the 6 Pro. And the most important thing that Oppo really wants to highlight on this phone is the camera on the back. So it's got a quad system setup, a 64 megapixel AI main sensor, an eight megapixel ultra wide, a two megapixel macro, as well as a two megapixel retro portrait camera. So that's for some of the funkier effects but it's the video bokeh flare mode, which is its main selling feature. And typically bokeh is something that you get in a higher end mirrorless or DSLR camera. It's that creamy and cinematic effect that you get usually with a larger camera sensor, usually with a faster lens. So I'll grab one of my lenses that I use for the best bokeh. I use this kind of all the time on Instagram. This is my trusty Zeiss 85mm 1.8 and typically a setup like this, plus the camera is way larger than a smartphone, obviously I can't fit this into my pocket. And typically getting that bokeh into a smartphone is pretty hard because you're limited by how large the sensor can be. So a lot of this is computational photography, AI based, but because we are getting so much better, the effects are honestly pretty good for a smartphone. You can see in some of the sample footage that I shot how cinematic that looks. Obviously it's not as good as a $6,000, $7,000 camera setup, but for one sixth or one seventh of the price and for something that fits into your pocket. And obviously the bokeh flare effects will look best when you have cool things in the background like fairy lights. I had to hunt pretty hard for some cool effects. It was sometimes hit or miss, but when it did hit well, it really looked cool. And it's kind of cool to see this all being done inside of the camera of a smartphone. And the front facing 32 megapixel camera can also do the bokeh flare effect. Uh, you can see that uh, it doesn't pick up on dogs and there is 
a bit of artifacting in it. Uh, it isn't necessarily perfect. I would say the rear facing camera is definitely better for this, but maybe for this bokeh flare, just taking selfies is fine. Uh, but you can see around this way, some of those uh, artifacts. What's that Link? What's that? It's also got AI built into the video mode, which is conveniently called AI highlight video. So depending on which scene you're shooting in, whether that's a low light situation at night or in an area that has a really bright and overexposed backlight, that AI algorithm will really help smooth out and make those photos slash video way more usable. One thing that a dedicated camera can't do, I know that we're all getting sucked more into social media, TikTok, Instagram, whatever your poison is, is to kind of create content on the fly. You typically have to take a photo or video, then transfer it to your computer or phone. The Reno 6 Pro has something cool called Solo Loop. So all of the content that you shoot on this device, add it to a specific template, add music, add stickers. And these are all pretty cool because you can integrate these right into say Instagram, into TikTok, into Snapchat. And Oppo is trying to market this as you can become more like an influencer. I kind of hate that name, maybe you can become more like a content creator. I'm not really sure what I call myself, but adding all these effects, it's easy. It's one place that you can do it in. You don't have to switch between different sorts of apps. And actually some of these templates are pretty dope to use. I would typically pay extra money to use something like this on say Final Cut Pro. All of this is kind of built in and it's free on this phone. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, those are pretty much the main video features coming to the Reno 6 Pro. And I wouldn't say it can replace a dedicated camera. Obviously the quality isn't as good, but in an all-in-one package for a fraction of the price and it can all fit into one pocket. And of course you can still have all the benefits of this being a smartphone. Still rocking the latest silicone on the inside. So I mentioned the MediaTek 1200. It's also got 12 gigs of RAM, so it's quick and snappy. Pretty much everything that I've thrown at this device, it's been able to handle. Multitasking is easy. Color OS isn't that bad either. It's got a 90 Hertz display, which I think is the bare minimum now. And it's still crazy to think that that's more than my iPhone 12 Pro Max, which is typically my daily coupled with a 180 Hertz touch sampling rate, so you can still use it for gaming. So overall, I think the Reno 6 Pro is a solid phone. It's got some really cool video features that are tailored towards that influencer, content creator, whatever you want to call yourself. So yeah, I think it's a dope device. It's got a dope design. That Reno Glow is definitely still unique. And just remember giving one of these devices away. So just make sure you sub. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed all of the B-roll that I managed to snag. And I will catch the rest of you in one of my next vids. Peace.